Happy Tuesday, friends, and welcome back to the Rainbow Ballroom as we gather here once more for Tuesday evening virtual Vespers. It's the second day of May. I think it's the National Day of Prayer of the year 2023. So we're going to do a little praying and scripture sharing singing so come on in the house glad that we can continue together in Easter tide hello Kathy and Jeffrey welcome to the rainbow ballroom this is our fifth Sunday of Easter edition and our theme is Jesus is the vine and we are the branches so we're talking about abiding in Jesus what does it mean to abide in Jesus to stay connected to Jesus well I hope others are going to join us anytime now and as we await their arrival I'll share a song by Patty Kennedy Marine, Just Like You Promised. Just like you promised, you've come. And just like you told us, you're here. Is that you know I love you, I worship you, I welcome you here. And just like you promised you've come and just like you told us you're here and my desire is that you know I love John Strickland and Michael Bethay. Welcome to the Rainbow Ballroom. This next song, as we are still in Easter Tide, is one of my favorite sing alongs uh, based on a traditional Spanish melody. It says, Come, Christians, join to sing. Come, Christians, join to sing. Alleluia, amen. Loud praise to Christ the King. Alleluia, amen. Let all with heart and voice before His throne rejoice. Praise is His gracious choice. Alleluia, amen. Come lift your hearts on high. Alleluia, amen. Let praises fill the sky. Alleluia, amen. He is our guide and friend. To us he'll condemn. His love shall never end. Hallelujah. Amen. Welcome, Sandy Lee. Praise yet our Christ again. 
Let's open up with a prayer. God of love, we ask you to plant us in the soil of your grace. Nurture us with the strength of Christ, who is the vine of everlasting life. Enlighten us with the wisdom of your spirit, which flows through us today and all days. Abide in us that we may abide in you and live in your love. For it's in your holy name we pray. Amen. Well, I'm going to send this next song out to John Strickland because uh, we sang it many a time at Camp Monroe back in the day. Uh, called his banner over me is love. Michael Bethay, you sang this one with me too, I'm sure. It starts with he is the vine and we are the branches. You can be branched out. His banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are the branches. The second verse says he is the shepherd and we are the sheep. So you can move about, Jeffrey, and show me your best sheep. His banner over me is love. The third says he seats me at his banquet eaten table. His banner over me is love. And the last verse says, there's one way to peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. And it goes like this. He is the vine and we are the branches. His banner over me is love. Yes, he is the vine and we are the branches. His banner over me is love. Yes, he is the vine and we are the branches. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Linda, do your stretches with me now. He is the shepherd and we are the sheep. His banner over me is love. Yes, he is the shepherd and we are the sheep. His banner over me is love. Yes, he is the shepherd and we are the sheep. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. He seats me at his banquet eating table. His banner over me is love. He seats me at his banquet eating table. His banner over me is love. He seats me at his banquet eating table. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Now this last one's a little bit stretchy on your hands. You gotta go, there's one way to peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. There's one way to peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. There's one way to peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. And his banner over you is also love. Let's uh, listen to our scripture tonight. It's John 15, one to eight. It's one of the I am statements of Jesus where he says, I am the true vine and the father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes in order to make it bear more fruit. You've already been cleansed by the word that I've spoken to you. 
And then Jesus said, abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit. Because apart from me, you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me and my word abides in you, ask for whatever you wish and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. Friends, this is God's word for God's people, and it abides forever. Thanks be to God. This next song by Eddie Espinosa is Change My Heart, O God. Join me. Hey, Bill Brannon from Galax, Virginia. Welcome to the Rainbow Ballroom. Sing along with me on Change My Heart, O God. Change my heart, O God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, O God. May I be like you. You are the potter. I am the clay. Mold me and make me. This is what I pray. Change my heart, oh God, make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God, may I be like you. Well, this picture of the vine and the branches that we're talking about from Scripture tonight may seem on the surface to be a little confusing, but it's really quite simple. Jesus is representing the vine, and he's the sustainer and carrier of all that is needed by us who are the branches connected to him. And when you're the branch, you can rely on Jesus to provide for you all that you need to be alive and to be fruitful. Jesus repeatedly tells his disciples to abide in him. Another word for abide is to remain or to connect. And these are a uh, action words. They're verbs. So this abiding with Jesus isn't so much about a place that you arrive, but some place that you actively make sure that you want to stay. Remaining or abiding are both action words that describe a choice. They're not forced or passive, but these are intentional decisions that we daily make to abide in the vine, in Jesus. Abiding in the vine is about staying connected to Jesus as the root and the source of life and nourishment for helping us live and grow and produce good fruits in our life. Jesus used this picture of the vine and the branches to help the disciples picture the work that had to be done on a regular basis if the vineyard owner wanted to have any grapes at all. If the old dead branches weren't pruned from the vines, the vines would produce less and less fruit each year until they no longer produced fruit at all. So applying that to our own lives, we have to remain in the vine, remain with Jesus even amidst the pruning process. 
The pruning process is something that takes place as we focus our attention on Jesus and his goodness and love and his desire that we be strong and fruitful. And in order to be strong and fruitful, at times we have to be pruned. If we run away from Jesus or get distracted because of the pruning or life struggles or trials that we're facing, then we can fall away from the protection and the nourishment that comes to us from the vine. When a branch is pruned from the vine, cut off that is, then it no longer grows. It definitely won't produce fruit and it very quickly begins to shrivel up. Abiding is not a passive verb, it's an action word and sometimes remaining connected or abiding in the vine can feel difficult. When difficult things happen, it can be easy to blame God or to turn away. But by abiding in Christ in those difficult times, we're promised that he will abide in us as well. When we look at our lives from this parable's point of view, Jesus is the source. He's the center of all that we know and all that we do all that we are, all that we hope to become as Christians. We're only able to be like him when we're connected to him. If we're cut off from the vine, we're no longer a part of the vine. And as I said earlier, our lives begin to shrivel and suffer from lack of Jesus' life force and nourishment active in our lives. Only by abiding, staying connected to Jesus, are we able to know and represent him in our lives and to bear good fruit for him through our words and our actions. See, God is the source of life who will cause us to bear fruit as we abide or remain connected to Jesus and abide in his words and his commands. God doesn't ask us to work hard in order to bear fruit but rather to abide or stay connected, stay focused on Jesus, and to allow God to produce the good fruits within us and through us. So I say to us all, cling to Christ, abide in him, draw your life and nourishment from him in order that God may produce good fruits in and through your life as we serve others. Well, on an abiding message, it seemed like uh, the classic hymn, Abide With Me, words by Henry Francis Light and the music by William Henry Monk. A very favorite hymn in the Scottish Highlands. Abide with me, fast falls the even time. The darkness deepens, Lord, with me abide. When other helpers fail and comforts flee, Every passing hour, what but thy grace can foil the tempter's power? Who like thyself, my guide and stay can see through cloud and sunshine, oh, abide with me. Hold thou thy cross before my closing eyes. 
shine through the gloom and point me to the skies. Heaven's morning breaks and earth's faint shadows flee. In life and death, O Lord, abide with me. Abide with me, Lord, that I may abide with you. Well, let's share a prayer that is a reflection on John 15, 1 to 8. Lord Jesus, you are the one true vine. In you, we live and move and have our being. We are your branches, spindly and slight and fragile. Please ask your Father to prune us, but gently. We want to release anything that's hindering our abiding and growing in you. Feed us, Lord, for you are the root of life, the source of true nourishment, the supply of all that we need. We want to bear more of your fruit. We need your spirit's care and encouragement. Bring forth your fruit from within us, Lord. Help us day to day to hang in and hang on to you, for you are the source of life and fruitfulness. In your name we pray, amen. Welcome, Bruce Watson, Sharon Watson. Good to have you in the Rainbow Ballroom tonight. Come on in. This next song is by Danny Daniels and Randy Rigby. You are the vine. You are the vine. We are the branch. Keep us abiding in you. You are the vine. We are the branches. Keep us abiding. And we'll go, and we'll go in your love, in your love. And we'll go, and we'll go in your name, in your name, that the world, that the world may surely That you have power to heal and to slay. You are the vine. We are the branches. Keep us abiding. It's great to be with you tonight. I've got some invitations to extend by way of reminders of things going on during Easter Tide at Celebration Presbyterian Church. Uh, we'd love to have you come be with us. We're located at 2300 Carolina Forest Boulevard in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Uh, this Thursday at noon, our men will have their lunch bunch gathering at Tupelo Honey Restaurant in Market Common. This Thursday also at noon, ladybugs will gather for their luncheon at the Trevenia Italian Kitchen 
in Market Common. This coming Friday, there'll be bingo at the church at 2 p.m. in the sanctuary. And this Saturday, there'll be the final gathering for the Bible study. It'll be at 9.30 a.m. in the sanctuary. Also this Saturday, later in the day, there'll be Relay for Life at Valor Park in Market Common. It's from 3 to 9 p.m. Please come out. You can walk. You can donate to support walkers. You can come tend our tent. You can come just mix and mingle and enjoy some fellowship with others from our church. Next Sunday, we'll be gathering at 11 a.m. both in person and through Facebook and YouTube live streams for all of our followers. This coming Sunday, we'll share Holy Communion in worship, and we invite all of our remote worshipers to prepare ahead with juice and bread so that you too can celebrate Holy Communion with us this Sunday morning. Now, next Tuesday, I hope to be back with you for more virtual Vespers at 7.30 p.m. I thank you for joining me on this fifth week of Easter edition of Virtual Vespers. I ask you to join me again this Sunday for worship at 11 a.m. If you can't be with us in person, join us through our live stream. And I hope to see you back here next week for more Virtual Vespers. I want you to know on behalf of the congregation and leadership of Celebration Presbyterian Church that God loves you and so do we. We'd love to get to know you. So come abide with us as we seek to abide in him. Now receive this benediction. Go now and love one another because love is from God. Proclaim God's salvation to every generation. Remain in Jesus Christ and like branches of the vine, draw your life from Jesus. And may God, the vine grower, tend you and make you more fruitful. And may Christ Jesus abide in you and give you life. And may the Holy Spirit cast out all fear and fill you with God's love. Now we go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, if you'd like to support this ministry outreach, you may do so. First of all, by showing up on Tuesday nights and participating. Secondly, if you wanted to monetarily support this effort, you can go to celebrationpresbyterianchurch.org and choose the Donate Now tab or the Recurring Payment option and make your secure, secure donation to Celebration there. We thank you in advance for your support. I remind you, if you need a good daily devotion, to look to d365.org. It's a free online daily devotion that you can have with music or without music, depending on your preference. Also, watch for our weekly celebration email updates and read them. They're chocked full of good information. The Tuesday email blast gives you the activities in the life of our church like I've just shared with you. And uh, the Thursday edition gives you the order of worship and the materials, including hymns for Sunday. Um, if you'd like to be added to our email list, you can contact the church office at 843-903-0308. And just ask Irma Stackhouse to add you to our email blast and she'll do it. Now hear this charge. Jesus, you are the vine and we are the branches. You provide us with life through your spirit. Produce your fruit in us. We want to bring glory to God the Father and to your name. Jesus, as we remain in you, you also remain in us. To that I say how good of God and thanks be to God. So friends, continue to do the best you can to do and be the best you can do and be throughout the year 2023, which we continue to pray will be a healthier and happier year for everyone all around the world. 
Now, in closing, I leave you with one final song by Jude Del Hero. More love, more power. More love, more power, more of you in my life. More love, more power, more of you in my life. And I will worship you with all of my heart. And I will worship you with all of my mind. And I will worship you with all of my strength for you are my Lord you are my Lord more love more power more Special shout out to Bernadine Lamar and thank her for making the relay, sharing me over onto the Facebook page of the church. And I want to thank her for my new t shirt. And I'll turn around to let you see our, our church logo in celebrating our 20th anniversary. We're moving into our 21st year now. And I want to just say again, Frank, thanks for coming out tonight and know that God loves you and so do we. Come see us. We'd love to get to know you. <laughs>